A couple telling News 5 their hopes for a biological child are destroyed, and they believe that letter from UH only adds insult to injury. News 5's Tara Molina live for us from the fertility clinic in Beachwood. And Tara, their attorney says this changes everything. That is exactly what he's saying, Rob. And it's not only because University Hospitals is admitting that the alarm wasn't on. They're also admitting they knew there was something wrong with the tank. They knew the eggs and embryos needed to be moved. And before anything was done about it, before it was fixed, this. An entire nursery prepared, a plan in place. Kate and Jeremy Plant's future was in that University Hospital storage tank. That future, their five embryos, all destroyed when that tank wasn't properly cared for, properly maintained. It's, it's a nightmare. We're living in a nightmare. Kate Plants went through fertility treatments after her diagnosis with ovarian cancer. She had her uterus removed but held on to hope of having a biological child one day through a surrogate. Oh, we've always wondered what would our kids be like, you know, part of her, part of me. And that's, that's a reality we're never going to know. And it's because this hospital dropped the ball. The letter they and every other patient affected just received outlines that and new details about what happened. Also revealing twice as many eggs were affected than originally reported by UH. The stuff that came out in the letter, um, it's almost like a slap in the face. It reads, quote, we know that the alarm system on the tank designed to alert a UH employee to temperature swings was off. But, quote, we don't know who turned the remote alarm off, nor do we know how long it was off. The letter going on to detail issues with the tank that UH employees knew about long before the malfunction, quote, we know that the tank in question needed preventative maintenance. The automatic fill for the liquid nitrogen broken. It was added manually. This is mind numbing to think how negligent and it's, it's a nightmare. The embryology lab was also completely out of liquid nitrogen and staff was borrowing it from another lab. And while the eggs and embryos were supposed to be moved to another tank while that tank was fixed, Quote, no eggs or embryos had yet been moved to the extra tank. They were entrusted to protect these embryos and eggs with liquid nitrogen. That's how you do it. And you don't have the tanks available. Attorney Tom Merriman is representing the couple. He says this totally changed the case. This is about an entity that consciously disregarded a substantial danger. Consciously disregarded. They knew they had a problem. In that context, the law provides for punishment damages. This hospital needs to be punished for what they did. For, so they never do it again, and no other clinic in this country would even consider doing what they did. Now, the letter sent out today says that University Hospitals is willing to pay service fees to the patients affected. They are willing to pay back the storage fees those patients had paid. But for couples like the plants, there is absolutely nothing university hospitals can do that will allow them to have a biological child. Reporting live in Beachwood, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.